Hello everyone! I hope you're all doing great! So welcome back to another story time! Today I'm going to read you a special story and it is called Stella Luna. So this book is about a bat. Her, the bat's name is Stella Luna. The bats are the creatures of the night. They can see in the dark. And this is a fruit bat. They eat fruits. They don't eat insects or anything. They just eat fruits. So I hope you'll like this story. And I hope it'll be wonderful. So let's get started. Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. In a warm and sultry forest far, far away, there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how mother bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, mother bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bat. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape. But the owl struck again and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper. Down, down she went, faster and faster, into the forest below. The dark, leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. One twig was small enough for Stella Luna's tiny feet. Wrapping her wings about her, she clutched the thin branch, trembling with cold and fear. Mother, Stella Luna squeaked, where are you? By daybreak, the baby bat could hold on no longer. Down, down, again she dropped. Flump! Stella Luna landed headfirst in a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? cried Flop. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Shh, here comes Mama, hissed Pip. Many, many times that day Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Steluna was terribly hungry, but not for the crawly things Mama Bird brought. Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest, closed her eyes and opened her mouth. Plop! In dropped a big green grasshopper. Still Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept at night. She ate bugs even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing. Except for one thing. Still Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. Once when Mama was away, the curious baby birds decided to try it too. When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Eek! she cried. Get back up here this instant! You're going to fall and break your necks! The birds clambered back into the nest, but Mama Bird stopped still Luna. You are teaching my children to do bad things! I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house. Stella Luna promised. She ate bugs without making faces. She slept in the nest at night, and she didn't hang by her feet. Stella Luna behaved as a good bird should. All the babies grew quickly. Soon the next nest became crowded. Mom Bird told them it was time to learn to fly. One by one, Pip, Flare, and Flap, and Saluna jumped from the nest. Their rings worked. I'm just like them, thought Saluna. I can fly too. 
Pit, Flair, and Flop landed gracefully on a branch. Still, Luna tried to do the same. How embarrassing. Mm. I will fly all day, Still Luna told herself. Then no one will see how clumsy I am. The next day, Pip, Flair, Flap, and Still Luna went flying far from home. They flew for hours exercising their new wings. The sun is setting, warned Flitter. We had better go home or we will get lost in the dark, said Flap. But Still Luna had flown far ahead. It was nowhere to be seen. The three anxious birds went home without her. All alone, Still Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I promise not to hang by my feet, Still Luna sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and soon fell asleep. She didn't hear the soft sound of wings coming near. Hey! A loud voice said, Why are you hanging upside down? Still Luna's eyes opened wide. She saw a most peculiar face. I'm not upside down, you are, Still Luna said. Ah, but you're a bat. Bats hang by their feet. You are hanging by your thumbs, so that makes you upside down, the creature said. I'm a bat. I am hanging by my feet. That makes me right side up. Still Luna was confused. Mama Bird told me I was upside down. She said I was wrong. Wrong for a bird, maybe, but not for a bat. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaved like a bird. Still Luna told them her story. You ate b bugs? stuttered one. You slept at night? gasped another. How very strange, they all murmured. Wait, wait. Let me look at this child. A bat pushed through the crowd. An owl attacked you, she asked. Sniffing Stelluna's fur, she whispered, You are Stelluna. You are my baby. You escaped the owl? cried Stelluna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat as she wrapped her wings around Stelluna. Come with me and I'll show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug as long as you live. But it's night time, Stelluna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark or we will crash into the trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in darkness. Come with us. Still Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Still Luna could see. She fell as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. Soon the bats found a mango tree, and Still Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. I'll never eat another bug as long as I live, cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full. I must tell Pip, Flitter, and Flap. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me and meet my bat family, said Stella Luna. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. They hang by their feet, and they fly at night, and they eat the best food in the world, Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, I feel upside down here. So the birds hung by their feet. Wait until dark, Stelluna said excitedly. We will fly at night. When night came, Stelluna flew away. Bit Flitter and Flap leaped from the tree to follow her. I can't see a thing, yelled Pip. Neither can I, howled Flitter. Aye, shrieked Flap. They're going to crash, gasped Still Luna. I must rescue them. Still Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them to a tree and the birds grasped a branch. Still Luna hung from the limb above them. We're safe, 
says, said Stella Luna. Then she sighed. <sighs> I wish you could see in the dark, too. Be wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied. Pip and Flap nodded. They perched in silence for a long time. How can we be so different and feel so much alike? mused Flitter. And how can we feel so different and be so much alike? wondered Pip. I think this is quite a mystery, Flap chirped. I agree, said Stella but we're friends, and that's a fact. The end. So I hope you like this story. So let me tell the book title again. So the book title is Steluna by Janelle Cannon. So I just reminded you that. So I hope you liked this story and I hope it was wonderful. I hope everyone liked this. So if you like this story, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.